Subcarriers in OFDM systems are designed to be orthogonal. However, their orthogonality is violated if there is an offset between the carrier frequency of the transmitter and the receiver. Non-orthogonal subcarriers interfere with each other even when the frequency offset is very small compared to the subcarrier spacing. 802.11 systems use the frame preamble to estimate the frequency offset. In the following, we demonstrate an energy efficient jamming attack that targets a small portion of the preamble yet inflicts the highest damage to the whole frame. In this demo, we first use two USRPs, one as the transmitter and one as the receiver, to experimentally transmit a sequence of packets that belong to an image. For each packet, the receiver estimates the frequency offset. It is often about 975 Hz in this case. In the absence of any jamming signal, the image is successfully received and decoded at the receiver. Now we add our reactive jammer which is controlled by a laptop to the scene. The attacker optimizes its own frequency offset with respect to the receiver so as to inflict the highest possible damage using minimum jamming power. It then starts eavesdropping to detect a frame and then reactively jamming its preamble. As a result, the estimated frequency offset increases by one frequency subcarrier spacing. That means instead of correcting the frequency offset, all the subcarriers are mistakenly shifted. We turn off the jammer before the end of transmissions. The frames that were under attack are completely destroyed. One big advantage of our proposed attack is that it is channel independent. Even when the jammer moves away and the channel between the jammer and the receiver changes, the attack is successful. As long as the signal to jamming power ratio is less than 1.5 dB, which basically means that the jamming power can be even less than the signal power, a successful attack is still possible. By further moving away the jammer, However, the jamming power at the receiver becomes too weak to make the attack successful.